Uh, I was looking at the new gimbal, the Storm S3 from Helipal. The new Storm S3 gimbal, the reason I got interested in that is because of the price and the fact that no one else actually had any video on it on YouTube. So, <coughs> how good is this gimbal? I don't know. I only saw the commercial from Helipal itself and it looked fairly good. Um, if this is something I can use, I don't know yet. Let's see. I'm using the um, DJI Zenmuse A3 3D, I think, uh, on my uh, 450 quad. And it works fairly good. Um, the limitation on that one is that you cannot rotate it 360 degrees and you cannot uh, use uh, lockdown mode where you follow something on a specific place. Uh, other than that, it works perfectly. I'm using it on my DJI 450. Uh, the 450, yeah, it is big enough, but I don't have the flight power I want. And I also don't have the legs on it that is retractable. So that means if I use it 360 degrees and move it all around, I will be seeing my legs. As I said, S3 have not been out on YouTube yet and I cannot find any specific reviews. And I will be getting this on Monday or Tuesday, I hope. Uh, I will be running it on a new build because I am going to do a couple of new builds and a couple of new gimbals to test them out. Uh, hopefully for something that you can like, I don't know. Uh, the new multi-rotor I will be building is Tarot 680 Pro. I was thinking of the 810 as well or even 960 or whatever it's called. But they are a little bit too big and they are a little bit too expensive. So I stuck with the 680 Pro because that will be big enough. Uh, that will be run with 620 KV motors from Tarot as well. Hoverwing Platinum 30 Amps ESCs. Um, on this one I will be using the Storm S3 gimbal and with retractable legs of course. Uh, the plan is to use t between 2 and 4 packs depending on flight time and what I'm going to carry. Uh, hopefully that will be more than enough, I hope so. I'll also be building a couple of planes. This one for starter. Plane from uh, flight test. Very very cheap plane, 39 bucks I think for the kit. Uh, I have bought a couple of motors and such as well and be using that as well. So let's see what that will be. A build with him, maybe you. Uh, I will also be building a Bix 3. Um, Hobby King. A new um, a newbie FPV plane, if you talk like that. Uh, I will use full FPV gear on that one as well. Uh, I will be testing 1.2 GHz instead of the 5.8. So hopefully that will be really, really nice. So, short video of what's coming. The S3 will be a fantastic thing to test out. Uh, and tarot as well, hopefully. This is for starter now. Uh, hopefully, we get it going and I will shoot some more parts and get some videos up. So, thank you. My DJI 450. Uh, I had to slow the video down a little bit. Uh, it's running a little bit of a couple of different changes. I'm running 4S now, uh, foldable uh, GPS antenna as well. Uh, it's a lot easier to transport it. Uh, unfortunately, still stock landing gear. Um, I have done a couple of upgrades because I didn't think the original was strong enough. It was way too slow and it couldn't stand the wind. So when going down with this amount of weight, it weighed 1700 gram, it can't handle it. Running the DJI Zenmuse 83 3D. It works really, really great when you have balanced the props and everything. No issues at all. Uh, the motors is 28, 30, 900 kV motors. 300 uh, watts roughly. It's almost a double the amount of the original ones. And I'm running with uh, 30 amps ESCs. Uh, it's a lot of punch and it's with 13.4.7 props. 